Welcome back to day six of the 30 day coding challenge. Today, we're going to be building this responsive three column component. If you're new here, hi, my name is Zoe. I'm a software engineer and former university professor that loves teaching folks how to code. If you're interested in starting a career in front end development, check out that first link in the description below. But without further ado, let's hop into day six of the challenge. All right, so yeah, as you can see, we have this three column component that basically just has these three cards that will tell us a little bit about the products and um, that we're offering here. So if we mouse over a little bit, we'll also see that there's a mobile design. And this is a really simple, really quick way to just get ourselves familiar with media queries and how to work with a mobile responsive design. So let's hop into the build here. All right, so I've already gotten the app uh, spun up and ready to go, and it's here um, at localhost 3000. Again, if you do want to use this starter, it's linked down in the description below. It's my Material UI, Next.js, and TypeScript starter um, using the app router. So you can go ahead and use that if you want. Um, and then again, the, um, the design for this three column preview card component, this is available on front end mentor as well. And it's one of their free options. So you can definitely go ahead and follow along. Um, also linked down in the description below. All right, so first things first, I usually like to go in and there's some like reset styles that I've put in here. I just usually like to go in and clear those out. Um, but again, if you would like the dark mode, you can leave it in, um, clear that out. And let's go ahead and get started on our page. So looking at this, it looks like we have three cards that pretty much have the same style, right? So there's some sort of like image, there's some like a title, there's the body section, and then there's a learn more button. Now you don't need to hook it up to actually do anything, um, but let's go ahead and format like an individual card and then we'll use that for each of them. So I'm gonna create a new folder as I do call it components. And then I'm going to create a new file called card.tsx. And we are going to let me close these two out. I'm going to also go ahead and create an array. Um, and this array is going to have all of our data. So I'm going to say um, const data equals, it's going to be an array of objects. So um, let's go with the, let's call it the image. So say image is going to be something, uh, title is going to be something else, uh, description is going to be a, th a third thing, and then uh, learn more button, I'm gonna leave that because it's gonna be the same thing. If we did have a button that like linked somewhere else, maybe I already changed where the link is going, um, but for now we're just gonna leave it as it is. So what we're gonna do here is we are going to put in this information. So I went ahead and also dropped in the images that you get from um, uh, Front End Mentor. So you can actually just use the like assets they give you. So I'm gonna grab the relative links to these. So we have sedans, and drop that in there. And the title is gonna be sedans, and I'll grab this copy here. Uh, sedans, that's gonna be the copy. And then I'm just gonna copy this three times. And I'm gonna modify it. So it's sedans, SUVs, and luxury. And luxury. And let me just grab the internal description here. And what I'm just doing here is setting up our data so that when we go to plug and play this, it's really quite simple. Um, again, if we had an API we were working with, we could just use that instead. Um, but because we're using just sort of the static data, um, it's a quick way to get it done. All right, so we have our data, good to go. Let's work on actually building out the card and then we'll put the data into the card. So I'm gonna actually start using a box from Material UI, um, basically just a div that allows us to use some of their more customized stylings. Um, and this is gonna make our responsive design a little bit easier. All right, so we're gonna use the box and actually I think for the cards themselves, their inner design doesn't change, but it does look like um, obviously they'll stack differently. So we have our box. First things first, we wanna have our image from next image. And the source is going to be the image. Um, the alt text is going to be, let's use the, uh, let's use the, the title. And the height, let's grab that from the design. Height is gonna be 40, width is gonna be 64. It's gonna be 64. And then to get all of this, let's go ahead and import it from, um, 
from our like our data our page um so let's declare our props and again i'm using typescript so i'm declaring props and you know you worried about types but if you want to do this with jsx instead you can totally do that that's not a problem at all and then you don't need to worry about any of the types so for the image it's going to be a string um the title is oops title is also going to be a string uh what else are we going to be bringing in we're going to bring in the description which is again a string and i think that was it um and then we just need to bring these in here so image title description and we'll use props and we'll save that cool looking good so far um the so we have the title next thing we need sorry we have the image next thing we need is the title so let's bring in a typography element um, cool and then the typography element is just going to show our title and i'm going to style these a little bit more once we actually um, start showing up by having our data show up but for now i'm just dropping uh, setting up the base and then we're going to have another typography element and it's going to be our description. Oops. Description. Cool. And then the final element is going to be a button. And it says learn more. Yeah. So it's going to be a learn more more button. And we can style that out. Uh, make sure we import it. Perfect. Yeah. And we can style that up. So it's going to be... Oh, actually, I'm missing one really important thing the color um so if you notice all three of them are different colors so that's going to be another um piece that we need here so let's start with color is going to be whatever it is let's grab the colors um because that's going to be super important because i'm looking at the background text of the learn more and i'm like oh they're all different <laughs> all right so color for this one is going to be this And then color for this one is going to be this. Cool. All right. Awesome. And then we'll import. We'll bring in color as well. And color. All right. Cool. Very important. So now we can sell it our button. So we'll say SX equals the color of the text is actually going to be color. Um, the background color is going to be white. Uh, let's take a look at what the corner radius, border radius, is going to be 25 pixels. Save that. Mm, and... 12 on top ish. So the padding, oops, padding, gonna be 0 0.75 rem and maybe like just about 2 rem on, on the left and right. All right, cool. And so we have the card, sort of the structure set up. Um, oh, I guess one other thing I'm gonna wanna do is really define the, the box here. So each of these individual boxes. Let's see. Uh, group three, group two. Okay, so it's 500 tall. Height is going to be 500 pixels. Oops. And the width is going to be. about 300 pixels. Cool, save that. Um, and then the background color is gonna be color. Color, what else should we update? Um, oh, the text color for the typography elements. Color is going to be white. Uh, copy that for, oops. Actually, yeah, I think they're both white. This one's just smaller. Um, so we'll use that for the description as well. And what else? Oh, I'm going to want to do a text transform for the title. Um, so text transform just allows it to be uppercase. 
so that we don't need to worry about whether or not the actual data is correctly uppercase. Everything's just formatted the same. Um, and I think that's good for now. So let's, yeah, let's go ahead and actually map through these cards. So I'm going to say um, data.map for each card. We want to go ahead, oops, go ahead and return um, a card. And then with the card, we're going to pass in color is going to be color, uh, card.color. The title is going to be card.title. The description is going to be card.description. And oh, yeah, the image is going to be card.image. And then we also need a key, and the key, we're gonna use the title as well for that. And we'll save that. Cool, so then now we have our cards. So if we've done it correctly, there we go, we're seeing it on the page. So we have our three cards already basically set out. We just need to modify the styles a little bit and then also work on our responsive design. So in order to do that, let me take a look at, yeah, the background of this really isn't anything special. So I'm just going to go ahead and let's take a look at the use, Miri, use media query hook from um, Material Device. So use media query uh, from uh, Louis. So yeah, with Material UI, we can actually use this hook basically to determine um, at which point the um, which point our breakpoints are essentially. Um, so we can use this simple like media query syntax here and to say like basically if it's larger than this point, do this. If it's smaller, do that. So I'm just gonna grab this right here and import it into our page. Um, let's save that, and then I'm going to use this, but we're gonna modify it a little bit. So I'm going to say const mobile equals use media query max width of 600 pixels. So basically I want to do like a mobile query. Like are we on a mobile device? Um, and again, this is not accounted for iPads, but I'm just thinking more cell phone type of thing. Um, but are we on a small screen mobile device or are we on a larger screen um, desktop device? So with that, basically what that's going to modify is our box here. So let's do our initial, um, our styling of our box. So with the box, we want it to be display of flex. And let's take a look at our piece here. Uh, oh, you know what? It also, we need to turn this into a client component. Otherwise it's going to complain because we are using a hook. All right, so turn it into a client component. Cool. Cool. So yeah, we see that it's already just set it up um, like that. We're going to say display flex. We're going to say... Uh, justify content center, align items to be center, and save that. Cool, and then I think we do need to set a height on this so that it uses the full width. So I'm gonna say 98 view height. Cool, so now it's centered on the page properly. Um, what I then wanna also do is now I want to take into account whether or not we're mobile or desktop, right? So if I inspect this currently and I go into um, a mobile view, it's just gonna squish everything together, which is not what we want. So let's use our mobile query. So we wanna say, um, let's see, let's say flex direction, and then we wanna query for our mobile. So if it is mobile, we want our flex direction to be column. If not, we want it to be row. I'll we'll save that. And so now you can see when it is um, mobile, then it has, it's putting it, you know, straight from the top to the bottom. When it's on the desktop, it's not the same. So it's left to right. So that is exactly what we want. So now let's go in and actually fix up the actual card styles it's, itself and um, make everything a little bit cleaner. So first thing I'm noticing here is that we need some padding. So let's take a look at how much padding there is here. It looks like about 48 pixels all around. So let's go ahead and throw that in. So we'll say padding, um, three rem, save that. Cool. Uh, what else? This, we should set the size of the font here. So we'll say font size. Let's go another, let's do 2.5 rem. 
cool. Um, we'll say font weight uh, 600. Nice, nice. All right, let's see distance. Looks like about about two rem uh, margin. So we'll say margin two rem auto. Oops, auto. Cool. We have a little bit of margin there. And then now we have our description. So it looks like the line height, I believe, is a little bit higher. So we'll say line height. Let's go four, five. Okay, not bad. And then I think also, where does it break? It breaks on affordability. Um, it's regular text. And the padding does appear to be 48. All right, maybe I need to set um, a max width for this. So we'll say max width of, 125 pixels. So I want it to break at a certain point. Maybe that's a little too small. Let's go eight round. 10 round. 12 round. For its affordability. Yeah, that's what we want. Mm. Maybe the whole thing's a little bit too tall or too wide. Let's actually, let's try and set max width. Ma oops, max width. Yeah, there we go. I think I need, what I need to do is set the max width. Um, so that's the max width and we'll set that as the max height rather than the height itself. Um, so that's looking a lot better already. Cool. I think we can lower the line height. Or you know what it is? I think actually it's the font size. We can lower font size to 15 pixels because it is a little bit smaller. Perfect, and now we're really, really close. All right, so the last thing I wanna do is add some space for this learn more. Um, so the learn more, I think the margin top, about 83 pixels, margin top. about five rem. And yeah, that's looking pretty good. That's pretty solid. So let's take a look. I'm actually just gonna open this up in another tab. We have it already basically set up for us. Don't know why it's loading weirdly. Um, Not sure why it's loading weird, but other than that, seems to be working just exactly as how we expect it to, to load. Uh, I'm wondering. Let's take a look, see what's going on there. Ah, okay, it's the height. The height is the issue there. All right, so then I think I'll just take off the height um, for, this is on the page, I'll take off the height if it's mobile. Mobile, auto, or 98 view height. Let's refresh, see if that fixed it. Yep, seems to have fixed it. All right, perfect. So we have our mobile, and we have our desktop. So yeah, that was just a really quick way of using the media query hook that's provided by Material UI in order to actually work with our um, 
responsive design. So you can use this, you know, as you saw in the CSS, you can use this to show different components depending on if it's a mobile or a desktop design. Um, really, it's a really versatile way for you to be able to do a really quick responsive design. So if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like. If you want to see more content like this, uh, feel free to subscribe down below. And I'll link the rest of the videos on this challenge up here. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.